three, two, one. What? What? All right, dudes and dudettes, we are back here on Stone Block 3 for episode 2. Pretty crazy. We have a lot of stuff planned for today, so we got to jump right into it. This is the thumbnail for the last video. It was great. Y'all loved it. I'm so glad everyone seemed to really enjoy it. So what we're going to be doing today is getting into some Tinkers. Yes, that is right. Tinkers construct. It's going to be lit. So we need to make sure we are ready and good to go. There we go. We have our axe. I must ask you a question. We'll get a couple of pieces of. Okay. We are out of that. We just need a little bit of wood. And let's see here. Let's get some stone sticks. Stone rods. Sorry. My bad. And we can crook these. What a crook. What a crook. All right. Mining all of the things. Perfect. So that should be enough wood for what we need, which is great. So uh, we need to make... Oh, wait, wait, we have sticks. They don't make more sticks. We need a button. Perfect. We're making this dripper here. We actually need a slab. Slabby jabby. And the dripper here. Now, if we take a look at the dripper, we can see that it kind of turns things into other things by dripping water on it. The reason why we want it right now is we're turning dirt into clay because we're getting into tinkers. We need clay. But there's something cool I found. If we take three times compressed stone, we get a diamond ore out of it. Uh, that is really cool. So this is what we need. We need, uh, I'm going to get two stacks of sand and two stacks of gravel. And we're going to have 32 pieces of clay. And that will give us quite a bit of grout. Um, and that will allow us to kind of get into uh, seared bricks and all that. But first, we need to actually make one of these. Uh, which, if you are wondering, is a cobblestone generator. And I accidentally didn't record this, but I grabbed a water bucket. Uh, we filled up the, we have a cauldron somewhere. Where did the cauldron go? Oh, it's right there. If you take saplings, all you need to do is just click this with saplings and it gives you a bucket and you just click it with a bucket. Yeah, or it just gives you water to click it with a bucket, sorry. So yeah, super simple. I'm sorry that I didn't record that. I felt really bad about it, but we're gonna put a cobblestone generator right here and we'll do one of these. And um, I think it would be wise. So I want to mine the cobble here. I don't want to put the lava there. So V will put the lava here. And I believe if we do this. Okay, definitely not that. Though we did generate some cobblestone. what we need yes this is what we need cool cobblestone generator so what we can do is we can put a crafting table uh, over there because it's really slow to mine with how do you make a normal crafting table can you Hmm, I don't think you can make a normal crafting table. Okay, well that kind of changes it. We got a loot B. Where's the loot B at? He's over here somewhere. If we look at the mini map. Where? Where is he? <gasps> Found him. There's the B. Okay, so we're going to free this guy. And we're not going to attack him this time. That was a total mistake on my part. He's gone already. But he left us some goodies. Cool beans. Okay, so we're back. Don't worry. We just need quite a bit of cobblestone to be smelted. So we are going to work on that. Um, see, we need a total. Let's see, nine. Nine times six is 54. So that's how many pieces of cobblestone we need. Um, but the thing I wanted to do is replace this with wood just so it's a little bit longer to break. And I can kind of just hold down, right click, you know what I mean? The really efficient way of doing things. The cool way of doing things, just holding it down. 
But, hmm. What else? What can we even make out of the wood? We can make a pulley block. Is that from a create? No, so, hmm. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to make it work with the wooden planks here and hopefully it comes back in time. Otherwise we'll mine out that block. But anyways, I'm gonna be here for a little bit of time. So I'll talk to you guys in a few moments. Okay, so we should have enough of the call or the stone made. Uh, yeah, that kind of keeps getting lit on fire. So let's go ahead and make a couple of these. Oh, we're three short. Okay, we are one short now. How did I mess that up? Oh, nine times six, 54. Did I not have enough? Uh, clearly math is not my strong suit today. But anyway, now we have enough for it. So what we are going to do is we're going to grab this guy and then we'll break you, grab this guy. And we just need a piece of glass, a little bit of glass. Here we go. And then once this is done smelting, we can make our own cobblestone generator. So we don't even need to worry about this. It's just gonna be amazing. All right, the glass has been created. Booyah, cobblestone generator. Amazing. So I also wanna go ahead and invest in a new tool. Um, we're gonna go pickaxe, whoops. Pickaxe, a normal ax, and a shovel. And we go like this. I believe we go boom, boom, boom. Yes, we make ourselves a stone paxel. This gives us a bit more durability. Um, let's see, does it? 131. Maybe if I break these blocks, it'll tell us. 262, yeah, that gives us a lot more durability, so that's cool. So oh, we gotta fill all this in. We don't want anything spawning here because we got plants later for a mob farm. Typically, that's how you do things and modded. So here we go, stone, cobblestone generator. We're gonna make a drawer to go on top of it. Do we have drawers? Yes. Oh, alt, I hit control. There we go. Okay, drawer. That is actually really handy. I'm sorry if I yelled. I was really excited about that. Okay, so we have here the drawer. And we take this, we put the cobblestone on top, and yep, as you can see, boom, there we go, 20 cobblestone. This is gonna generate a lot, and we don't have to do anything. So now that we have cobblestone automated, what that means is we can go ahead and compact it like this. And we just do that. Now we have 29 of them total. We take our hammer, and now we can place these. I do realize there's probably a wand, but you know, we don't want to craft it. We're too busy doing this. All right, and so now we have all of this gravel. Perfect, perfect. Look at all of it. Cool. Oh, that's right, my, I, for the thumbnail I moved this guy and I was like, where did it go? It's supposed to be right here. All right, so that's good to go. Can we throw more than one of these in? No, just one stack at a time. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit longer than I originally thought, <laughs> but I'll be here for a while. Okay, so the final stack should be in there. Yeah, we're getting no more particles. Okay, so that means we have over a stack of iron now, which is really good uh, because that means we can actually upgrade the cobble gen tier one, which I am so into doing that. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. We need to do the seer work. Oh. Okay, so we're not doing that, but we do have some of these that we can have fun with. <laughs> I totally thought it used to be the old recipe where you could just use iron to upgrade it, but they they have used their thinking caps and that didn't want us to, to do that. So we're, we're not gonna be able to do that. So that's fun, but uh, yeah, we just need to do this a little bit and you know we got some gravel which is good uh we only need a little bit of it to be converted into sand um yeah let's see here we just need that for say uh, oh dirt okay so that's good for some things um well, we do have the two stack or almost the two stacks of sand. Okay, so we do need to do a little, okay, so what I'll do is I'll put the two stacks in here. We will sift up or mill this stack of 
gravel and yeah we'll get back to it after that okay so just got done with it here now we have the remaining amount of sand that we needed we have extra now which is really good we even have some iron here let's get rid of most of the things in our inventory that we no longer need which should be all of that now let's look into the dripper here how do we even set this up that is the question we got a random award we got a bronze pack so wow we just up we had a stone one now we have a bronze one very cool okay so now we can mine things even quicker that was very unexpected okay so the dripper drips fluid onto the block below in order to turn it into another block okay um so we do have a bucket here we even have some water um i'm gonna go ahead and i think we should make another furnace here um and then in this guy we will put some extra sand in it because i want to make glass uh for the viewing like so we can see that there's water in it i don't know why why do we need to view it well we're going to regardless um but yeah i think we're gonna put it right where the crucible is because move the crucible here these kind of make sense these guys probably get their own room uh but the dripper i don't think that's what we're supposed to do Ooh, bucket of water. Okay, so it's dripping. It's dripping. Okay, and then we need to continue to, it's not like it keeps it, but what we can do is make an infinite water source, like so. And we can put that in the ground here. Uh, boom, shebang. Okay, so that made it into gravel or clay, which is good. So there we go. And then we just wait a little bit of time and then this will convert it into clay and we will be good. Okay, so while I was sitting here, I had the ingenious idea that I could just fill up a bunch of these and they would convert as I was doing this. So like we would just have more going. Uh, so each of these holds four buckets, and they're actually, like, like they don't go through the water very quickly. But, I mean, look at that. We already have clay, and then we can just do this so much more. What I'm going to do is place these here. There we go. And so now we have a, a greater chance of having these be completed. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a, a decent idea in my brain. Let's see. So this has three buckets. This has three buckets, and then... That should be all of them, but yeah, check it out. Now we have clay here, and then it's just a lot quicker for me to just kind of look. Uh, we might do one more. What do we need? We need more sticks. We need more sticks. Okay, and then we're here. Boom. So I place this here. Place that there. Like this. Perfect. So now we wait, and this will be a, a lot quicker process, which is great. And then this still works, too. So I'll be back once we have enough. Alrighty, so we got the final clay balls. Here we go. So we now have 32 of those. And if you're wondering why we got 32, well, it's because it's the good combo for grout. If we do this, all of it's used. And shebang, we have four stacks of grout that we now need to process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some cobblestone and make some verni. And did one get oh there they are <laughs> that was weird that looks kind of funky but you know funky monkeys are cool here we go and we're gonna split this up into four so we have plenty all right there we go there we go boom boom and shebang shebang cool now all of those are gonna smelt up i didn't realize we had over a... that's right i put a, a stack of iron in beautiful so we have a lot of iron now we have some other resources we even have some extra fern eye for crafting recipes in the future if we need that but we are feeling dangerous and i'm just gonna let these run and continue to harvest some clay because you know you really can't have enough clay oh and by the way we also got this globe so let's take a look here we got this guy cool and then to upgrade it to tier two we do need to pour some seared stone so we're just we're not quite there yet uh, scorch brick. Oh, nether grout. Ooh, we'll get that later. I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so let's go here. Welcome. We got sand and then dust. Dust. So you just smack around some sand, but what do you get from it? 
Redstone, Surtis Quartz, okay, but you have to wash it. Oh, oh, that's good. Cool, so we do have the iron, actually. We could make that, but we're gonna hold off. We're gonna do some Tinker stuff today. I know, I'm really foaming at the bit to get better resources. And we will end up actually needing um, more create things. So we'll, we'll definitely have to do that. But I think we're going to punch a hole in the wall over here. Uh, and we're going to make a cre... That's a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. I thought it was just a 3x3x1. Three three that is spectacular. Wow. I love that. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, I got this stick of truth. I don't really know what it's for. It just popped into my inventory. It said, here you go. Or something along the lines of that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, because it says here's a stick with a heart. That's how I got it. I, I don't, I don't know how that happened, but we have it, which is kind of neat. So, anywho, we're gonna mine this way. We're gonna mine this way. We're we're gonna mine this way, and we're gonna mine this way. Oh, that didn't work out as I thought it would. All right, so we have a room here. Should be nine by nine, and then we're gonna go up a little bit. Jeez. Okay, so it's very directional, very temperamental. Perfect. We have a lot of cobblestone now, and this is going to be our tinker room. Yeah, so I don't know exactly how we're going to do this, but there's a loot bee. Let's go get him. Oh, no, he's gotten bored. Don't stop moving, bee. It's like swimming for sharks. You have to keep swimming to survive. Don't die on me. Be free. Be free! Hi, B. Come on, B. You can do it. Look at this, B. Be free. B. Not being free. Oh, an egg. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the egg. What is this? Oh, copper. Thank you. What else you got? Mystical orange flower. What's that from? Botania. Very cool. Okay, gold. Very good. What else you got? Oh, there we go. Mystical cyan. Okay, another egg. And another egg. Okay, nothing too crazy this time, but thank you, B, for being awesome. I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. Okay, hole in the wall is patched. Oh, but so we should have a couple of bricks smelted up here. Amazing. Okay, so we've done this, we've done that, we've done this. Cool, and we've done that, and we did this. Let's go to quests. What does it want us to do? Okay, so we need to make a melter and a seared heater. Yes. Okay, so let's craft these guys up. Boom, seared heater. Very good, we'll grab some glass. This is why we smelted it up, because we need to make some seared glass. Beautiful, all right, and we have a seared melter. That's the word. <laughs> I was like, oh, words, they're hard. Okay, so here we go. This goes here, this goes here. We put coal in, we can put mini charcoal in here, that works. Cool beans, so now we can smelt things. Um, let's heat these bad boys up and, okay, quest line, we did it. We got the puny smelt. What? We just got a netherite furnace? Okay, that is a little ridiculous. Um, I mean, I'm not really going to complain, but like, that's amazing. Like, that will really help us, like, forever. Wow, okay, we're taking all of the stuff out of here, because it's no point. We'll just put it in here, and it will smelt it up very quickly. Uh, now we're going back down to two for an eye, okay. Netherite furnace, and we have a crystal chest. That is crazy. So we need to make a seared faucet. We need to make a uh, casting table and a cast or a casting basin. I said those in the opposite order that they should have been set in. I do apologize, and then we'll make some casts. Uh, we'll make a blank cast here. Give me a beautiful. So we still should have some sand on us. Well, we have compressed sand, so that will do. Uh, let's make a, ooh, I didn't make full of that, that's a lot, okay. So casting basin, casting table, faucet, nope, like this. 
Okay. So, oh, okay, we did all that. And we got a honey cake. Okay, that seems a little bit better. Honey cake. I don't know what that's used for. It doesn't give me uses. Okay. That is fine. Nothing to worry about. So I'll put this here. We'll put this here. This has got seared bricks in it. Okay. And then we can put some more of those in here. And let's see. Let's grab the cobble gen. All right. And how do we upgrade? Okay. How many? We need two blocks. Okay. So let's see if we can upgrade this bad boy. I mean, it's moving pretty slow. Okay. So we need the seared faucet. Boom, shake a boom. Okay. All right, yeah, and I figured this is probably gonna take a couple of times to fill up because I think it's about halfway full. Whoops, I punched my computer on accident. Okay, so there we go, we'll put some more in. We can click this for some more. Okay, we still need more. That should be it, I believe. Yes, very good. Alrighty, and there we go. Cobble Gen Tier 2, amazing. Okay, so let's put this guy right here and we should see it is quite a bit faster. Yes, beautiful. But then what does Tier 3 need? Oh, we need Molten Iron. So three blocks and five ingots. We technically have that, but I don't want like, we'll let this go. Like, I'll AFK a bit. Um, I don't think it's actually worth trying to get it. So what we're going to do here. Okay. Uh, that's confusing. <laughs> well, we're going to lose that cast. Oh, no, we got it back. We just lost that seared stone. That's perfectly fine. Okay. So we have the mini charcoal in here. It's doing great. Uh, we need to make a smeltery here. So that requires copper, which requires, um, let's see, can I find an ingot? How do we get this stuff? I think we get the raw material. Yeah, how do we smelt it? Okay, so we have to wash sand. Okay, so in order to get further along in our progress here with Tinkers, we need to get Create going on its own. Um, hmm, decisions, decisions. Okay guys, so I've decided to kind of resist doing create until next episode here. And if we check our map, we can see there's this dungeon over here now. This one's bigger, I've just decided to go towards this one. So here I go on my journey, wish me luck. Okay, we're in our final blocks in our uh, progress towards the room here. Okay, uh, it's either above us or below us. Oh, here we go. All right, we're here. Finally. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna break this one over here. We're gonna break this one. Figured there'd be a spawner. All right, so we got some zombies that are probably going to come down. There we go. Oh. This is not good. I think there was one more. Okay. So, there do seem... There we go. He had a loot crate. Whew! Okay, so we did it. We finally got here. That was ridiculous. That took me a long time to get here. Um, but now we've done it. Visit a spawner. And we get a flux controller. That's pretty cool. Let's see, we get a uh, clay loot crate. Cool. So we get clay. Amazing. Oh, I need to take like a breather after that. Okay, so we get some candles, some arrows, pumpkin pie. That's very good. Ooh, diamonds. Mana steel helmet. I will take that. This is good. Oh, wow. Okay, we don't need all the cobblestone. We'll take those. 
Lingering night vision. We'll take that. Weak blood orbs. Cool. And I'm going to leave that here. Um, okay. I just want to see if there was a spider spawner in there. There was not. Very cool. So we got the, the string that we need. Very good. So back to the base. Alrighty, and so in case you guys are wondering the reason why we needed string, well, for the next episode, we're gonna need to get a engineer's hammer so we can start making some golden sheets and make the propeller. So we will be doing that all in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button, guys, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this is Super Turtle, and I'll see y'all tomorrow with an All the Mods 8 episode. Take care, peace out, bye-bye.